Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and we are back with another episode of The Arbor. Now, I know there's kind of been a little gap in some of the videos. A lot of it has to do with just outdated old video equipment. I want to get a new camera. I actually did in the form of the Google Pixel, which is a really awesome phone that also takes really good video. Um, so, starting off with the gun. This is the PTS Arm for ERG. I've actually featured this gun on my channel before. Slightly different configuration, but I kind of wanted to talk about some of the updates I've made because it's actually one of my favorite CQB style guns in my armor. Um, starting with just some of the base stats, um, one of the things I changed was I actually put an ERG spring in here, so instead of shooting the 350 that the, game normally came, uh, the gun normally came with, it now shoots about 380 feet per second, uh, which is a little bit um, better for range, moving targets, um, it's just a nicer FPS, gives me a little bit more flexibility. Um, so it doesn't shoot too hot, but it shoots a little faster than CQB limits when I'm running around. I can really nail people out when they're running on distance. Uh, one thing that I've also changed is, and it's actually a pretty major thing, is that this gun was a front-wired gun. And I felt that was kind of one of the things that might have turned people away from the ERG, even though it had a really beautiful receiver, uh, and, you know, it came with all the magpul furniture and everything, was the fact that they, they were front-wired. And the whole industry was switching away from front-wired guns. One of the main reasons I changed this to rear wired um, is because of the EPS stock. But before we get to that, one of the things I did is that I went to KW Way, and it's actually available on their website now. You can get the rear wired uh, buffer tube now. And so all you really have to do, I know I'm kind of explaining a little more simpler than it really is. You basically have someone rear wire the gearbox to the rear. Um, you actually have to cut or mill or uh, drummel the rear of the receiver so that the wires can actually get through because the old PTS receivers were not designed to have wires going out the rear. So you gotta do that. Make sure you do that. Uh, once you do that, you can run them into the buffer tube and then into the stock, and now you have a rear wired uh, PTS ERG, which of course, all the original ones were not rear wired. Uh, I really wanted to take advantage of the new enhanced polymer stock because the battery storage space in this is ridiculous. Super easy to use. Tons of battery space. Um, you know, I could put two full-size light bulbs on the side tubes, or maybe a third one down the middle, or all kinds of weird, different kind of configurations. Beautiful Dupont polymer too. It's really, really well built, super sleek. I'm a big crane stock guy. I've been using crane stocks for a really long time. Uh, in fact, my first airsoft gun had a crane stock. It was a classic army M15A4 CQB. Uh, I just want the extra battery life to stay in the game even longer. Uh, that gun was kind of really uh, rear heavy though, because the older rear uh, rear batteries were pretty big in comparison to today's LiPo's. Moving on, I also have my EPMs, but they're also laser engraved, so if you guys haven't seen them, these things are pretty dope. Uh, I got these done by Rock Arm & Co. Um, he's a good friend of mine, does all my laser engraved work. Uh, he actually does some laser engraved work for PTS as well. Really, really nice guy. Check out his Instagram. Also have the enhanced polymer sights on here. These are great because traditionally, you know, MBUS sites are like 40 bucks for one, you know, 80 bucks for a set. MBUS Pros are about 90 bucks just for one. Uh, so PTS came out with this really affordable site setup. It's only 45 bucks for both the front and the rear. Uh, it's great. It's very easy. You just flip them up completely toolless. It's a nice, beautiful design. I'm actually very more drawn to the way the rear sight looks. I just, I love the rear sight. Uh, one of the reasons is because when you adjust the rear side aperture, you just move the aperture up and down and changes the size of the hole of the aperture. Uh, and it's cool because there's nothing sticking out. You know, I, that was one thing that always bothered me with the MBUS sights is there was always just something sticking out. So it kind of ruined the profile look of, of the sight. But now it's a beautiful, sleek sight with all the uh, adjustments and everything and nothing sticks out. It's really nice and uh, you know it really fits the look of the gun. also have the new PTS Griffin Armament M4ST K. Now... As cool as the original M4SD suppressors were, they were kind of plain. So I really love the new Gen 2 look, how it has so much more detail and texturing along the surface of the muzzle device, or the suppressor. And even the front actually has a lot more detail as well. Uh, one thing that's really great is that this will attach to, you know, any of your Griffin armament muzzle devices. I've got the M4SD um, uh, muzzle brake on here. The new style, it's got three holes on the top. Two port muzzle brake, by the way. Really, really cool. Uh, this basically slides over it. You have the locking gate and the little uh, deflector slash spring. You just slide it on, get it right into the right point so where it's lined up. And you gotta make sure you line it up with the uh, all the uh, flat parts of the muzzle vise on their sides. Uh, so that way it locks into place. It's a really, really clean design. It actually works with a lot of A2 muzzle vices as well. 
Uh, last but not least, got the Optic here. This is really cool. I was at Op 34, went to Extreme Airsoft's tent, picked this bad boy up. It's so cool. I've always wanted an SRS kind of optic ever since I saw one of the ones that Milsom Junkie had. I was playing with the R and I was like, man, that optic looks so cool. Finally picked one up. Really cool design. It even has a kill flash that you can get with it too. Um, but it's beautiful. It's got a really nice MOA. The new dot's not too big. Um, and your know, adjustment's very easy to turn on with one press. You know, you can adjust the brightness with either side. Press and hold both sides. Turns it off. Really, really clean. Very, very nice and unique. I love my T1s, but I just want something different. Uh, but it really kind of completes the look of this CQB gun. I mean, I really, really, really love how this turned out. Uh, but yeah, it's a really great gun. So make sure you guys check out more videos in the Armory. I'm going to be putting more videos up. Um, might even put some gameplay of this bad boy up again. I'm testing out a couple new MOSFETs as well. Uh, but it's a beautiful gun. Uh, if you guys love ERGs like I do, I just it's it's the good middle ground between gas and electric. Uh, there's just nothing quite like solid ERG. It just gives you the best of both worlds. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, i got more videos coming up. I'll see you guys next time.